Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to knit the third stitch before the first and second stitches to create a cable effect. This technique is otherwise known as the C3 stitch, the MC or mock cable stitch or the three stitch twist. I'll be showing you how to do the right and left leaning versions and then how to do an improved variation. I personally don't know why this is called a mock cable because even though we aren't using a cable needle, we are taking a stitch over two other stitches to create the cable effect. A cable is where you swap the positions of stitches by taking stitches over other stitches and so this technique is actual real cabling even if it's done in a more unusual way. Ok so to begin I cast on 12 stitches and then worked a few pattern repeats and now I'm just about to do row 4 which is where we'll create the cables. As you can see there are right leaning cables on the right and left leaning cables on the left and I'll be carrying on that effect. First we have the working yarn starting at the front and I'll purl 2 stitches. Then I'll do the C3 stitch and this first one is the right leaning variation. So making sure the working yarn is at the back Take the right hand needle up through the front of the third stitch on the left hand needle and then over the first and second stitches. Do all of the usual steps of a knit stitch except you don't slip the stitch off the needle. Just make sure you completely avoid the top two stitches and only bring one strand of yarn through to the front like so. Then you do the same with the second stitch. So take the right hand needle up into the front of it and over the first stitch. Then do the usual steps of a knit stitch making sure to only bring one yarn strand to the front. But don't slip this stitch off the needle. Then knit as you normally would into the first stitch. And when you slip this stitch off the needle you slip the second and third stitches off as well. And that's the cable stitch completed. The resulting cable leans to the right. What you've done is bring the third stitch over in front of the two stitches that were before it and it's now the first stitch of the three. Then I bring the yarn to the front and pull two. Then I take the yarn to the back again and do another C3 but this time it's the left leaning variation. It's very similar but a couple of stitches and knit through the back loop instead. So take your right hand needle down through the back of the third stitch to begin. Then cross the needles and do the usual steps of a knit stitch. Except you don't slip the stitch off the needle. Make sure you ignore the two stitches above it and only bring one strand of yarn through to the front. Then you repeat the same for the second stitch. So take the right hand needle down through the back of it to knit it through the back loop. Making sure to bring only one strand through to the front. And don't slip it off the needle. I always find this second stitch a bit trickier than the others. Then knit as normal into the front of the first stitch. And when you slip this stitch off the needle, you slip the second and third stitches off as well. And that's another C3 completed. This cable is left leaning. And now I'll show you that again. So on the next cable row I pull 2, then take the working yarn to the back and do the right leaning C3. You need to knit into the front of the third stitch but don't slip it off the needle. Then do the same for the second stitch.
Then knit the first stitch as normal before slipping all three stitches off the left hand needle. Then I pull two and next we'll do the left leaning C3. So knit through the back loop of the third stitch but don't slip it off. Then knit through the back loop of the second stitch but don't slip it off. And then knit into the front of the first stitch and not only slip this stitch off but also slip the second and third stitches off as well. I think the right leaning variation is easier and I think most people must agree because it's definitely the one you see most used in patterns. I'm now going to show you an improved variation of this more common right leaning C3 which creates a neater result. To do this simply knit into the front of the third stitch but don't slip it off. Then knit into the front of the first stitch as you normally would and slip it off. Then knit into the second stitch as normal and then slip this stitch plus the stitch below off the needle. And that's the improved C3 completed. And now I'll show you that again. So you knit the third stitch but don't slip it off. Knit the first stitch as normal. Then knit the second stitch as normal but also slip off the stitch below. If we now look at the result the only cables I made using the original method are the two at the top left and the rest are made with the method I just showed you and hopefully you'll agree that the resulting cable stitches are neater. And that's it that's how you do the right and left leaning C3 stitch. I really hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.